Okay. All right, it's going. Let me try to get it. Oops. Tripod's not right. There we go. I'm trying to get a lot of you. There we go. Let's see how that does. Okay. Number board. Cleaned off the table. Do our spelling, then we'll go have dinner. Take, making turns. The first turn you want to master is the J turn. J T U R N. The J turn is when you glide straight, S T R A I G H T, down and turn slightly, S L I G H T L Y, uphill, making the letter J. There are two ways to make a J-turn, a toe J-turn and a heel J-turn. To make the Joe J-turn, this is a tongue twister, you will point your board straight down a gentle, G-E-N-T-L-E, -E slope and glide forward. Shift your weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, to the front foot. Leaning forward so you're bent slightly over your toes. Move your hips over the toe side edge, flexing. It's a little very technical. <laughs> your ankles and knees. As you get your weight over the toe side edge, okay, as you get your weight over that toe side edge, your board will start to turn across the hill. To do the heel J turn, point your board straight down the slope, shifting your weight to the front foot, pressing your weight into your heels. You should feel your calf hitting the back of your boot, pressing into the binding. As you shift your weight, you will feel your board turning uphill into the heel side edge. A snowboarder demonstrating the position you need to take is in need to be in to take steps and glide. Oh, that's just telling us our picture here. That's a snowboarder demonstrating a heel side J turn. On this vocabulary. Very new. Okay, let's start some let's do some spelling. And I'm gonna have to back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Maybe one more so I can get the board in here. Good. Okay, the first word is straight. S N T N.
G. Good job. Flexing. Good job. Okay, let me write a, write a sentence now. What is the first turn you want to master? Gentle slope. Very good. When making a J turn, when making a toe side J turn, you want to move your hips over your what? Turn, you want to press your weight into your what? doing a heel side J turn correctly, you should feel your calves hit the blank of your boot.
Okay, time to read some more. Okay, let's see. Oh, it took 10 minutes. Okay, before you start shredding, S H R E D D I N G, down the mountain, you will need to learn how to traverse, T R A V E R S E or travel across the slope. To do, to do this, you will start with your board horizontal, H-O-R-I-Z-O-N-T-A-L, across the slope, leaning on the uphill edge so you don't slide down the slope when you stand up. Flex your knees and keep your weight evenly distributed, D-I-S-T-R-I-B-U-T-E-D, over the toe side edge while you find your balance. Shift your weight towards your front foot and slightly flatten the foot as you begin to move forward. To slow down, gently shift towards your back foot, centering your weight between both feet. To traverse into a turn, let the board flatten so you are riding downhill, shifting your weight into a heel or a toe side J turn. Make sure you're still in a balanced, relaxed stance. It's important to remember to keep your knees in line with your toes, keeping your arms and upper body calm. If you lean too far over your toes or over your heels, you will catch an edge and fall over. Okay, let's try some more spelling. Alright, the first word is shred. Oh wait, let's use the, sorry, let me use this word. Shred. You're right, you start to start with an S. S and H and R and E and D. Perfect. Shred. Okay, the next word is traverse. Okay. T and R and A and V and Traverse means to travel blank. Traverse, it's important to keep your board horizontal so you don't what? You know what? That was a, okay. That's a long answer. It's four words. Okay, well, let's do it anyway. Okay, we'll just do it. Okay. Okay, 
okay, this is four words, so let's get it done. Okay, S and middle. Which foot? with your toes, excuse me, your arms and upper body should be blank. So let's just get her done. Okay. I got a need I need a new page though. Okay. As snow one more pair. Yeah, last paragraph. Okay. As snowboarding has evolved, E V O L V E D over the years, many different styles of riding have developed. D E V E L O P E D. The most common styles are free ride, freestyle, and alpine. Free riding occurs on unpruned terrain, T-E-R-R-A-I-N, and is without rules. This means you can ride however you want and you're able to make it your own. Freestyle riding is when you perform tricks using natural and man-made features such as rails, jumps, boxes, and half pipes. Alpine is when you ride on hard packed or groomed snow and try to race to the bottom as quickly as you can. Alpine racing is a discipline. D-I-S-C-I-P-L-I-N-E within the sport and has been an Olympic O-L-Y-M-P-I-C event since 1998. While these styles are the most common, there are many other unique styles that often incorporate similar elements. But there is one thing all of the different styles have in common. You're out there to have fun. All right, time for some spelling. The first word is different. Different. D-N. 